begin to do anything. Looking loose in. Can't do a fucking thing. This thing comes right around. <laughs> no. 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 That was a, that you know that, that was hard because we went down there because that was actually the second week down there. The first week down there, we uh, we were just you know we'd use that year to test the car you know get comfortable and whatnot and we did decent the first week and then I don't know whether we came, I came back with a whole different outlook or what but I I don't know if I was I think I was driving in trying to drive in too far in the car just I don't it was hard. Hard to understand, I guess. That place, and I don't understand what it is about there, but usually them Sundays down there, it would be hot. 10, 20 degrees hotter than it seemed anywhere else. We dreaded you today. It was always going to be hot. Yeah. The race has started at what? Too hot? Yeah. The hottest right. part of the day. In the heat yeah. of the day. Yeah. How, how long have you been doing what you've been doing with you and Larry and your dad and Christy? I started racing in 2011 in a street stock at Unity. Um, I totaled it my first year with, I got wrecked. Um, we bought another car. I ran the rest of the year there. The car didn't fit the rules, so they, we decided to make the jump to Bangor. Um, ran there, ran Bangor in the Sportsman for we ran for a year, didn't have any luck as far as being real competitive. We made some changes the next year and we got a lot more competitive. Um, I'm not sure when, is it 13, 14 you started? Yep, 14? when I started working at Heights and you told me that you run race car, I said, oh really? That's when I came on board. Yeah. And so, so you started, started working at Heights in 14, 13, 14? 2011. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 2011 to th no no yeah it had been after that. Are you sure? You don't. It had to have been. It had to have been 14 because yeah. we were in the sportsman for a couple of years, and you were there for the the last year or two of the sportsman. So yeah, it had been 14, I think. 13, 14. You guys worked together during the week, trying to make time on the punch counts. Yep. And then we head right to the garage at night and work on the race car. And now on the weekend. We're back together. Back again. Yeah. Yep. I spend more time with him than I do my girlfriend, so. Yeah. <laughs> 80 hours a week together in the summertime? Yeah, pretty much. Holy oh, shit. You guys have days next to each other? Your days next to each other? Right? Yep, right next to each other, yeah. Oh, shit. So we'll talk about what we're going to do to the car at night. <laughs> so when we come here, we know what to do. Yeah. If I get here before he does, I'll start right in on what I'm going to do to it. Does everyone at work know? That you race and that you won some big races and won the championship this year? Yeah. 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 Everybody knows. Do they come watch or they, do they support? No, no, I don't think anybody from actually work. We you know, we work at a dealership, but it's a it's a smaller yeah, dealership. Yeah, it's a small you know, shop, so no. There's, there's what, 10, 11 people in the whole place. So yeah. I mean it we're we you know, it's a small dealership. We work for Heights, but it's uh, you know, Heights is owns four or five different dealerships, but you know, our dealership is a small. Heights does support you as well, as far as a small yeah, of course. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but every Monday morning we come into work, every morning, everybody wants to know how we did, yeah, so that's we'll cool. talk for a half hour how uh, Saturday night went. So, do you talk about what's for lunch first or how Saturday night went first? <laughs> now, nah, usually, usually, how Saturday night went. Yeah. They usually tell by the way you walk in. Whether, <laughs> yeah. you, whether you hang your head or <laughs> whether you're in good spirits, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Five years? Four years? Yeah. That sounds about right. It sounds right. It goes by so fast, it's hard to keep tra uh, track of it. And are you all, you're also a spotter? Uh, his dad spots. You spot. I yeah. spot. But when things go wrong, I'll spot, and if he if he can't be there, I'll spot. We got the crew chief. Yep. <laughs> we call him the crew chief. The crew chief. I think we all we all say let's. What do you what do we all think of of this change? And we all make a decision, and yeah, it's definitely a group decision at the yep. end of the day. Sometimes I make my own decision, do it, and sometimes you win, sometimes you make the wrong choice. So. 
No, you can't do that, Larry. You gotta spit something out. No. I'm under pressure here. Let's go over this before we. We got the front end up off the ground. Well, that was Saturday. So, Larry, what changes did you make? <laughs> Before the feature of the Darwin's Paul Buddy 150. What did we change? What did we change? I don't think we changed a lot. I think we... Uh... We were pretty much good to go after that last practice. Um, yeah, no, we, yeah, we put it... All we did actually was put a spring rubber in it. Put a spring rubber in the right rear. Yep. To get... Because the only thing we practiced all day was the bottom, so. Huh, how about that? Chris Matches on the bottom. Yeah. You gotta go where no one else will go, is the way I oh, always look at it. That's right. So how about that? It's the fastest way around. around the racetrack. Yep. It's the shortest distance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when you unloaded the spring, do you feel like you're one of the cars to beat? Yes, I mean I, we don't we don't like to feel cocky, but right. well, you know you, you don't yeah you yeah. don't go to the racetrack trying to be cocky, but I think that yeah we're a contender. I yeah. I like to think that we're a contender every time we go to Bangor or go to the racetrack. Someday in three or five years, you're gonna go super late ball racing or what? <laughs> it's all about money. Yeah, you know it's that's that's a hard part. Yeah, I'd love to go tomorrow and say that that's what we're going to do next year, you know, we're going to go down, run the pass door, but it's just, you know, at the end of the day, you can only do what your budget will allow you to do, you know. And our work schedule too. So it's... So we, we work, we work together, it's hard for both of us to be out of the shop. So that would be hard to run a, a pass door or... Well then you need all new equipment. I mean, you were... This is a, what, 20 year old distance car? Yeah. Yeah. You bought from David Folsom yep. in 2014? 15? Yes. Right. Yeah, right around then. 15, yeah. 15, yeah. yeah. So you got a 20 year old perimeter chassis. And then at that time you bought a brand new 603 right out of your parts room at height? I, yeah, I ordered it offline. But yeah, yeah. they. I went down there and they told me the at the time they were getting. They were done making the 603, so they had, you know, there's four or five dealers or places that had them, and I actually ended up buying it from one of the places that had them. Perfect. And this is the first, is this the first winter you rebuilt it? I rebuilt it last winter for this season. It had two years on it. Yeah. Two seasons on it. And when then I, uh, this winter it. just Val Springs and... This winter, I'm just going to do the valve springs and uh, good, to go. good to go. Good to go. What's going on this year? What are we going to do this year? Same thing, a little bit more. As of right now, the schedule is going to be pretty much the same. We've we keep every year we toy with the idea of going down and running the coastal again. We've done it twice. I don't know. I have a hard time. It's me more than the car trying to get around with cast. It's inexperience there, I guess is what you'd say. Um, after this year, we kind of we've toyed with the idea of going down to try and again this year. I guess we'll see what it, what the outcome is come that time of the year. But other than that, I think the game plan's the same thing we've been doing. Yep. Win races. It is a huge learning curve, that's for sure. And I think every year we're we're gaining more and more knowledge, and that's helping us to where we we're getting to be now. Where do you think your biggest gains have come from? Oh God. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think we're getting, you know, the, the first year you, you try to familiarize yourself with all the adjustments because these things are oh, so yeah. adjustable and, you know, and at times you question yourself on whether you really should be adjusting what you're doing. But, you know, we got to the point where you, we make an adjustment and try to learn off from it. You know, some days you make the right one, some days it's not the right one. And then we find that the littlest adjustments make a huge difference too. All right, Larry, if there's one thing you could change about your division in the state of Maine, like models that was casted in the 95, what would it be? I wish that we could all run the same tire. Why? 
Well, right now we're running American races and everybody else is running Hoosiers. And the Hoosiers are, seem to be a lot softer compound tire than our American races are a lot hotter tire. And it's hard to get a good consistent tire from an American racer, it seems like, for us anyway. See, every week we're going in there struggling to get a tire that we can run with and get a good stagger. But if you both had the same tires at the same tracks, you would at least, yeah, everyone would be on the same plane field. You could yep. jump around. Yeah, you we know, could jump gives, around to different tracks. It yes. gives you the opportunity to, you know, if, you, if you're not running on the point side of things, you could this week decide you're going to lose Cassie. You know, just chasing the fun or chasing the race, you know, where you got to have new tires or newer tires to be competitive. You, so you, it's hard to do that, the jump. Who was helping you out there this year? I, yeah, I mean, I, I got to give a huge thanks to Dean Smart. Um, you know, I, I, he was actually the one I beat for the championship with really the only two that ran the whole year. He had a really rough year this year. Um, he didn't plan on running the whole season, but I think he enjoyed the, the run between the two of us, you know. Um, but he's, every week we'd be back and forth, talk to each other, what's your car doing, How, you know what adjustments he thought I should make, what adjustments I thought he should yep. make, you know, and he's got a lot of experience in it. So, you know, he's got a lot of laps around that place. He's got, but he was a very big help as far as the point us the, in the right point direction. In the right direction, trying yep. to, you know, make the right changes, mm. you know. But you guys still race hard. But we raced hard. We raced, we raced each other every week, you know, So two guys racing for the championship every week, racing hard, but yet he was helping you and we're, you guys were helping each other. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen very often. Nope. But no, no, no. 2018, <laughs> everyone's really about themselves. Or, yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Anyone else? That's what makes it fun, too. Yeah. The camaraderie. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. camaraderie. Guess we had, you guys had long nights talking on the phone, like a couple of teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow talk? <laughs> yeah. Pillow talk. There's definitely some long nights on the phones and it, the nice thing about it is, you know, he's, he's, he's more like a friend because, you, you know, we'll talk, you know, tomorrow night he may call me and we may not talk anything about racing, you know, it may, it could be something totally different. But, you know, that's the nice thing, I guess, about some of these racing, you know, they'll talk racing families and stuff. You, yeah. you meet people, you gain different things you you know it's not all about the racing you know we all love to go racing but you you meet a lot of nice people along the way